Sean Tabbitt here from the Two Christian Dudes podcast, coming to you from Redding, California. I'm on the road this week. As you can see, I'm still wearing my finest workout attire from my early morning run. Uh, one good thing about being on the road is sometimes I get some unexpected downtime, and this morning I had time for some editing that I've longed to get to all summer. Uh, earlier in the summer, Randy Kay and I had the pleasure of sitting down with our new friend, Mike Olson. Mike has an amazing afterlife story. Uh, he needed a lung transplant. He dies on the table during the lung transplant. And one of the unique aspects of his near-death experience is he meets his organ donor in heaven. That's the first time Randy and I have encountered that uh, with any of the stories that we have had people share on the program. And Mike was kind enough to give me permission to use a couple of clips of him in the hospital. These were taken, as I understand it, about 30 days or so after his transplant procedure, after his near-death experience. And one of the things I really appreciate about these is I feel like it captures the intensity of the emotion, um, the intensity of what he was feeling as he is beginning to remember and process and share what he encountered uh, with those who were visiting with him in the hospital. So I'd encourage you to take a few minutes and watch these clips of Mike sharing. And then after you're done with those, go ahead and click the link below and we'll have the link to the full interview with Mike. It's almost an hour. We do a deep dive into many aspects of his heaven encounter. I know you're going to be encouraged. I know for some of you, you're going to be challenged. So if it provokes you in some way, you have questions or comments, uh, please leave a comment wherever you're watching or listening to this. And, uh, yeah, let us know what you think. But I know you're going to enjoy Mike's story. It's powerful. So I saw these swirling lights, and I heard a, a, a vo I heard this pattern of vo voice or something, and I just realized now what they were saying. And they were saying, Mike, Mike's coming home. Mike's coming home. And then I heard Jesus say, it's not his time. He's just here for a visit. And that makes me think of what John and John heard. It's all coming together. Because I didn't quite clarify why they were swirling around me. They were excited. And tell what Johnny Johnson. Huh? Tell the story, John. Not but, many people know what Johnny. So at that same time, I was dying on the. And and uh, coding out, I had a friend that heard, heard God's audible voice saying that Mike is with me, and that was the same night that I coded. So it's confirmation that God knew that that was going to happen. He spoke to somebody, and I experienced it. And then throughout the yes, thank you. I think like with transplant, yeah, like a window of time when things are in the fridge. So, thank you. Thank you. So anyway, it's all you know. You have these experiences, and bits and pieces keep coming back. Now I'm realizing that I wasn't fearful during that time, but I couldn't discern what was happening around me. It was so much activity and. I think um, people will call it the, um, uh, what realm is that? Um, people who are quantum physics, the quantum realm where you're in two places at once type of thing. And that's, I think, what I was experienced. There's different realms that we don't see in the natural. And I think it was that levels that I was in between, I couldn't discern things but now it's coming back to me like a story unfolding and i'm realizing i had a genuine supernatural experience with god and it really helps me to realize the love of god for each one of us is so deep we'll never understand it all
You don't think God watches over you. He does every, every detail of your life. Even when we're going on from this life to the next, he's with us. Nothing could separate us from the love of God. News of Jesus and their children as they're coming through. You know, you know when someone, your loved one, waiting for you, they haven't seen you in a long time. They just want to hug you. They just want to be with you and anticipate your coming. That's what it's like with the Lord and His angels. Was that your experience when you went to heaven? Yeah, that was my experience when I went to heaven. I just got it. The angels thought that I was coming to stay. And so they were excited. It makes you feel welcomed. And and I, I just heard the Lord's voice saying, he's just here for a visit. And that's God's mercy. He just He knew how much it meant to me. I'm a grateful person for everything I've had in my life. I've had a lot of abuse and a lot of heartache. And so the Lord knew how much I appreciated this donor. And I do appreciate these new lungs. I wouldn't be here if I didn't get a transplant. 